Hey there, how's it going? It is your muscle building coach, Lee Hayward, back again with another Ask Lee video Q&A. And today's video Q&A is being shot in the newly renovated Hayward's Hardcore Home Fitness Home Gym. You may recall, those of you who are regulars to the Total Fitness Bodybuilding YouTube channel, that I had some videos posted up of my home gym when I first uh, was in the process of setting it up and the basement wasn't finished. So here we are in the newly renovated home gym. It's, it's still not 100% perfect, so I'm not going to give you the whole video tour yet. But obviously we got the, the walls done, we've got the ceilings done, we got recessed lighting put in, uh, got rubber mats put down on the floors, so we're making this place look like a proper gym and not just a, a basement dungeon, so to speak. So this is where I'm going to be shooting a lot of my uh, new YouTube videos, just because it is a nice bright place for shooting video. Anyway, the question we have today uh, was sent in through the Total Fitness Bodybuilding app by Chris. And he's in the process of setting up a home gym himself, and he was asking my opinion on a power rack. Uh, this is a quick question for you. I'm looking to buy a squat slash power rack for my home gym. Any suggestions on the best ones out there? It says I've been looking at a body solid rack, a power tech rack, uh, but I haven't made any decision yet, and he just wants to know my thoughts and any suggestions. All right, when it comes to a home gym power rack, First off, this is probably like the, the cornerstone piece of equipment that you need for your home gym because there's so many things you can do with a good power rack. I mean, all your barbell lifts, your bench presses, your squats, your overhead presses, um, you can do in the power rack safely by yourself without a spotter thanks to the safety pins. So, I mean, a power rack is the cornerstone piece of equipment you need for a home gym. And as far as the brand is concerned, Honestly, it really doesn't matter that much because for a home gym workout, all the, the major brands are, generally speaking, going to be strong enough and adequate for your needs. What you want to look for is the hole spacing in the power rack. And you notice the power rack that I have here. This is a TDS power rack. And the hole spacing is pretty narrow. I, I don't know. It's probably about an inch apart between each hole. And that is critical because that will allow you to adjust the safety pins where you want and it will allow you to set up the J-hooks where you want. And this will allow you to customize the, the height settings for the power rack. One of the, the biggest flaws that I see with power racks, and this applies with not only home gym power racks, but like a commercial power rack that you might see at the, at the public gym, is if the hole spacings are too wide, then you're not going to get the right setting. I mean, you may lock into it where the rack is actually, you know, at that right height setting for you, but more often than not, it's either going to be way too high or way too low, and that just sucks when you're trying to get set up for squats and benches or whatever when you're trying to on-rack the weight, and it sucks for the safety pins because if you can't set them exactly where you want, they're either going to be way too high and you're going to be banging the bar off the safety pins when you're doing your reps, or they're going to be way too low, and then if you get stuck in the bottom, they're not going to be offer any support because the damn pins are too low and it's probably even more dangerous than not having any pins at all. So that's the most important thing to look for when you're buying a power rack is make sure that it has frequent hole settings, ideally every inch, uh, but definitely no more than, than a couple inches apart. And if they are uh, spaced further apart, like let's just say they were a couple inches apart, what I'd recommend then is get some thick rubber mats, probably like have an inch of thick rubber mats that you can stack in under the, the base of the power rack or, or even some just sheets of, of plywood or something like that. And this way, if you can't get the exact settings with the safety pins, uh, then what you could do is put a board underneath to just increase your own height. I mean, the height of yourself or the height of the bench or whatever that you're putting into the rack so that you can get the right uh, spacing uh, because that is the most important thing when it comes to a power rack. So that's my opinion. Uh, another little tip. When you're shopping around for home gym equipment, uh, obviously, you know, you can look online, check reviews and stuff like that to see what, what's the best and stuff. But look in your local classifieds uh, because very often what happens with home gym equipment is people will buy up a crap load of equipment and then not use it 
or something's going to happen and they have to move or whatever. And that is exactly the case with this power rack that I bought. This is a used power rack that I bought uh, for a couple uh, locally who they, they bought a brand new house, they got a, a killer home gym set up in their basement, and then they got a work transfer. So this is virtually brand new, but I got it for about half price because I bought it used, I bought it locally, and I didn't have to pay uh, taxes or shipping and all that kind of stuff. So if I had to buy this, order it in, pay shipping and, and customs and taxes and all that stuff, I would pay twice the price of what I paid for it by shopping through the local classified ads. So whenever you're buying home gym equipment, I recommend searching those classified ads. Like when you're in the market for home gym equipment, keep an eye on it. You know, every couple days, uh, go check your local classified ads and, and just see what's available. And every now and then, you may luck into some good deals. And like I say, I was fortunate enough to luck into a good deal, and I was really happy with it. So hopefully that helps in your quest for buying a power rack for your home gym. Chris, uh, if you have any comments, feedback, suggestions, or any other Ask Lee questions, feel free to post those in the comment section below. I'll chat with you down there. And in the meantime, have yourself an awesome day, and I'll talk to you in my next YouTube video. Take care. Over and out.